live. Brought to you by Kellogg's, the folks who bring the best to you each morning, the widest choice of cereals in the forms you like best. Yours from Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Now let's all play What's My Line? Now let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line? First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers from coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'm very happy to introduce someone we're always very glad to see on this panel. He's a friend of all of us and a relative by marriage of Orleans, Martin Gable. As to the girl on my left, what more can I say? Arlene Friend. You can say more, you're just shy. <laughs> and now, the compiler of all those amusing, anec amusing anecdotes in this week's magazine, Mr. Bennett Cerf. Here's a fellow who runs the show for us, a famous news analyst, a man who knows everything there is to know about almost everything in the world except spiders, Mr. <laughs> John Daly. To save you and me a lot of pain, I'll start off by saying the encyclopedia says that spiders bite. I was wrong and Bennett's right. <laughs> happy, Bennett? Thank you, John. Yes, I knew you'd be happy. Now I'll get even in the next 30 minutes. <laughs> it's a wonderful prospect. And we'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the show. We'll meet our first challenger after this. And now let's meet our first challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Is that right? How do you do? How do you do? It's Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss? Yes. Well, that's delightful. Where are you from? Moss, Norway. Moss, Norway. Yes. Well, panel, just to set your minds at rest, Miss Christensen is Miss Norway, representing her country in the Miss Universe contest, which is being held in California. <laughs> and uh, that settles that. <laughs> But she does something at home, and that's what you have to find out. So, Miss Christensen, would you meet the panel? Panel, Miss Christensen, would you join me over here? And the way we keep score, Miss Christensen, is that uh, every time you can answer the panel's question with a no, you win that point. And when you've won 10 points, you have won the game. Yeah. All clear? Yeah. All right, now let's let the folks at home and those who are here in the theater know exactly what your real line is in Norway. All right, Miss Christensen, panel is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Cerf. Miss Christensen, as far as I'm concerned, the Miss Universe contest has already been decided. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, does the work that you do, Miss Christensen, is it done in Norway? Yes. Uh, is it work that makes some use of your beauty or physical perfection? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Miss Christensen, I want to get one uh, uh, yes at least this evening. Uh, you have just met Mr. Cerf. Could he enjoy what you do at home? He certainly could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let me put it this way. I think we would have to begin with the premise that anything that Miss Christensen did with respect to Mr. Cerf, he would find some pleasure in. Uh, the end result here would certainly, I think, uh, require the judgment that he would benefit from Miss Christensen's services, and therefore we give you a yes. Thank you. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. You work for a profit-making yes. 
Is there any product involved in what you do? No. Well, now, with your permission, let me have a small conference. <laughs> Yeah. He's trying to be Mr. Norway. <laughs> Dorothy, Miss Christensen agrees that since as a part of her work there is a product which tends to come from her particular abilities, we'll agree there is a product, yes. Uh, Miss Christensen, do you work with your hands at all? Yes. Do you work indoors? More than outdoors? You work yeah. indoors more yes. than outdoors? Would you say you worked in a building that's on the ground rather than somewhere up in the sky or underground? Yes. Uh, do you work in a city? Yes. Uh, are there other young women doing what you're doing? Yes. At the same time? Yes. We can assume that, certainly, can't we? Yes. Uh, are you in a building that has more than one floor. Yes. Is there any equipment or machinery around? Um, any equipment or machinery around? Oh, no. That's uh, why I've got to have another conference. I'm terrible. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Would it be considered more office equipment than factory equipment? Would it be considered more office equipment than factory equipment? I think in the general terminology, with your permission, I will answer this one. In the general terminology which we apply in the United States, it would be fair to agree that this could be described as more office equipment than factory equipment. Yeah. Sure, John. Yeah. Do another conference, John. Do people, <laughs> do people come to your place of business, Miss Christensen? No. Uh, the people come to your place, where you work, is what she means. Do the people oh, yes. come to you when you work? Oh, yes. Yes. And are they grown-up people more often than children? Yes. Are they men and women both? Yes. Uh, do they speak to you? Yes. Do you speak to them in return? Yes. Do you give them anything? Sometimes. Do they give you anything? No. That makes it two down and eight to go, Mr. Gable. Miss Christensen, is your work more mental than physical? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Well, that narrows it. It's physical. Do you uh, move around in your job? Yes. Uh, is there anything either athletic or artistic about what you do? Mm, no. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Christensen, we haven't established uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes, that's yes. been determined. Has it been established? Do the people that you uh, serve emerge looking better or, than they did when they came in? Mm, we hope so, Thank don't we? You. Yes, we hope so. Would you use any soap in the job that you do? No. No? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry, I've got to have another conference. Break more. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah. Actually, but we'd like to change that answer. There is some soap, soap. used, yes. <laughs> Mind you, be found in either a barber shop or a beauty parlor doing your work? No. 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 Five down and five to go. I'm going to give you one more minute because you're not coming close to this. Do you deal with people more than animals? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, when s do, you, do you touch them? Physically? Sometimes. Uh, when you touch them, do you use anything? No. Wait a minute. Small conference. <laughs> Please finish my question. Why don't they just go off together? Miss <laughs> 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 okay. Christensen and I agree. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that, um... There is an occasion when she does in the contact that is sometimes required in the rendering of the service use something that uh, is applied to the individual. To the person? Yes. Uh, is this something that you say they don't give you anything, so that would include money, I assume. So do they pay for your services in some other way by paying your boss or getting a ticket of admission yes. or something like that? Mm -hmm. 
Do they pay before they get in? No. Nope. No, you're not. I'm going to flip all oh, the boards. Oh, let me guess. All right, one guess. Does she have anything to do with nursing? Getting close. I flipped all the cards, all so right. take a next guess. No, I was going to ask if she was either a nurse or an assistant. Well, actually, she is a dental nurse. Dental That's why nurse. I said you get very good. Very good, all right. The reason I knew that was that I thought of myself, my mouth being washed out with soap. And that was <laughs> Does Martin do that all the time? And why? <laughs> <laughs> no. Golly, that's the thing. But I must say that, um, uh, Miss Christensen, you are much to be commended because this is a very fine work for a, a, a la young lady to be in and to be as beautiful as you are and to apply yourself to all that needed to be learned to do it deserves congratulations. As Bennett has said, I'm sure as far as we all are concerned, the Miss Universe contest has been decided. You've won it as far as we're concerned. Thank you very much for being our guest. Let's see what we can do with the second challenger panel. I think we'll have to count that you got that because you came in just as the bell rang. All right, our next challenger, come in and sign in, please. John? John Dentler, right, sir? Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. From Chicago. Bentler, the panel. Panel, Mr. Bentler. Will you join me over here, please, sir? You know how we keep score? I do. Fine. Let's let folks at home, those here in the theater in the audience, know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel. Mr. Bentler is self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Mr. Bentler, I have a feeling that your work is rather serious, is it? Come <laughs> down and not to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Bantler, do you use your physical attributes in the work that you do? To some? To some extent, I mean, then. Yeah. We all do to some extent. It's not, yes. um... But would you, uh, could you describe the work that you do as more physical than mental? Yes. Uh, when you do the work, uh, are you dressed in something less than you are wearing now? Yes. <laughs> Something <I> less? <coughs> Let me have a small meeting about this. <laughs> ah, fine. Good. All right. Yes, we'll let that stand. Might it be, uh, might the attire include any kind of athletic equipment? No. No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgall. Is there anything <coughs> diverting, uh, amusing about what you do? No. Well, with your permission, sir, I would, I would say this, that a description of what Mr. Bentler does might be considered amusing by some people who heard about it. Would you agree with that? All right. Yeah, you know, as an interesting area of occupation. But may I assume from your answer, Mr. Bentler, that people do not pay admission to see you perform in an arena or a theater? That's right. Uh, they would merely find it funny or diverting if they heard about it from someone else or from you. Is that... Mm -hmm. That's the position you're taking. Uh, do you work indoors? Yes. Uh, do you work with other people or things? Yes. Do you work with animals? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Gable. Do you work with things rather than people? Yes. Uh, are those things in the world of, say, uh, insects or...? No. No, you're on a sticky wicket. Four down and six to go, Miss <laughs> Francis. Now, Mr. Bentley, you say your work isn't serious. And on the other hand, it isn't entertaining. No, let, let, let me try to put this in, in phase again, Miss Arlene. To Mr. Bentler, I'm sure his work is serious because this is how he makes his living. If you were told as a layman what it is that Mr. Bentler does, you might find it a bit amusing or diverting or interesting uh -huh. because of the particular character of what he does. I see. I would like to say at this moment, John, that I notice you haven't had any conferences with Mr. Bentler. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible after this show's <laughs> over, I won't be speaking to anybody on the panel. Uh, Mr. Bentler, 
You work with your hands? I do. And is there any equipment that you use yes. when you're doing your work? Does this equipment have moving parts? Yes. Uh, it is therefore something mechanical? Yes. Uh, do you have to have some training to know how to handle this equipment? Yes. Do you do this all by yourself? No. No. No, that's five down and five to go, Mr. Sirf. I would remind you again, Mr. Bentner is self-employed. Could. You could do it all by yourself, but he doesn't have to. Mr. Bentler, uh, do you, you go into people's homes, you said, no. to do this, didn't you? No, he didn't. He does that's not fine. Go. Thank you, Bennett. That's Thank six down much. and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. <laughs> Uh, Spiders don't bite, remember that. <laughs> Mr. Bendler, you have said that you wear less than you're wearing now when you're doing your work. Do you wear something that is peculiarly suited to working at your job? Yes. Now, let me have a small cut. Yeah, No, it is not peculiarly suited. What Mr. Bentner meant to convey there is that he wears what is reasonable and proper considering the work that he performs, but it is not peculiar to his particular brand of work, so you get a no. Seven down and three to go. One more minute. I'm Mr. Bentler, does the uh, machine that you work with, uh, does it move like an automobile? No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Is it, uh, is it a machine that is uh, useful to other people apart from you? Yes. Do you do something to this machine? No. You don't, uh, you don't uh, operate it in any way or... Uh, uh, I operate machines, yes. You operate this machine, but you do this for, your, for yourself. You don't do it... Uh, 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 if it's a machine that I might own, you wouldn't come and fix it no. for me. No. You would just take care of it yourself. Mr. Bentley. What? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You've got to know along the line yeah, there. Yeah, well, somewhere. I just thought I'd keep on talking. I was lost about two minutes ago. Mr. Mr. Bentley, uh, sir. does the machine you operate tell you anything about the people that you are operating it upon, such as giving their weight or something? No. Like that sort. Ten down and no more to go. This you didn't get on the product, and this is where you'd have found your ultimate answer because Mr. Bentler makes roulette wheels. Yes, sir. Just so that I won't go home and have a sleepless night, what does he wear when he's making roulette wheels? When the question was asked, do you wear less? The yes. answer was yes, because he wouldn't think of wearing a suit jacket. He'd have he on his shirt and a pair of trousers, you know, okay. just but as you would working in a plant. Don't some people consider roulette wheels entertainment? Oh, but I don't think the making of them is entertainment, no. no the, the machinery he works the with is the machinery that makes he the makes roulette them. wheels, and you never got to the roulette wheels and spiders bite. You see, it's as simple as that. <laughs> That's it. Mr. Bentler's firm, by the way. Question. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bentler, is it possible to fix a roulette wheel? I believe you've had 10 10 no's. I don't think you have any. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my answer. <laughs> now, actually, uh, I'm sure Mr. Bentler will agree that if somebody set out deliberately to, to fix almost anything, you could fix an automobile so it would run badly. But. Uh, Mr. Bentner has been in business, and your father before you, I believe, for 29 years. And 29 they, years. They have uh, conducted this What's business. What's the best number on the wheel, Mr. Bentner? The winning number. Very good, Mr. <laughs> Bentner. Really well. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. We come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which my friends on the panel are blindfolded. Blindfolds all in place, panel? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, John. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery guest, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And let's begin it all with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you a motion picture star? <coughs> Mr. Gable, that's a yes. That's a yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you a picture opening in New York in the next week or two? <coughs> one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Have you also appeared in the theater? 
Yes, yes, Mr. Sir. Uh, does the, uh, does your art include any kind of musical work? That's yes, too, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you a singer with hit records? Oh, now this, I think we must agree here that, that this was not asked immediately now. Yes. But that it was not asked what you no, Dorothy... No, I mean a, a singer of, of popular songs whom we would know as he... someone who has been on the jukeboxes. That's right. Yes, you, you'll get a yes to that with your permission. Mr. De Gable? Uh, are you better known as a, as, as a comedian than a serious actor? <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Oh. Well, then you are primarily known as a singer? Uh, this gets difficult. We have a guest who is, has earned a, a very uh, fine reputation in many fields, singing and also as a dramatic actress and in other areas. Ah, it's a but woman. singing it's a woman. is certainly... <laughs> <just learned it. clears throat> Arlene, si singing is certainly a major area of, of uh, known talent. Thank you. Mr. Sir? Uh, have you ever been in a show that was written by Rogers and Hammerstein. <coughs> Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, John, would you just refresh my recollection? Did we get a yes or a no on whether our guest has ever appeared on Broadway, or was it just... You a got comment? a yes. Yes. Uh, have you appeared on Broadway within the last two years? <coughs> yes. Was it in a musical show? Yes. Are you, have you appeared in nightclubs as a singer? Yes, Mr. Sir. Are you appearing on a, in a Broadway show at this particular time? <coughs> Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgore. Uh, when you are a Hollywood <coughs> star, uh, are you associated with one particular studio? <coughs> five down and five to go, Mr. Gable. Have you a movie now playing on Broadway? Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Uh, nightclubs, records. Movies. Movies. Millionaire. Millionaire. <laughs> uh, do you give concerts? I'm glad I asked that because it doesn't help me. Well, this is, this is difficult. Let me say that it's hard to, to um, separate it, but certainly concert work is involved. Agreed? Mr. Sir. Have you ever been a pinup girl? <laughs> this is a hard one to answer subjectively, so let's make it yes or no. Miss Kilgallen. What was the answer? It's a hard one to answer subjectively, Bennett. You know, to say, yes, I am a pinup girl. Why don't you answer it for the last I said we'll answer it yes and no. Hmm? Yes and no. Uh, could you possibly be known as a gospel singer? <laughs> Seven down and three to go, Mr. Gable. Uh, have you ever sung an opera? <laughs> Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Oh, boy. Uh, you are not... Uh, was it established that you are not appearing at the present time in a picture yes. on... It was established. Yes, mm -hmm. um, Concert singer. Been in a Broadway musical, uh, but more than two years ago, also principally a movie star. Uh, makes records. Makes records. It's what? Could we I'm, have a conference one No, minute? I'm going to throw the towel on you because I'm running out of time. Take your masks off, panel, and meet. Uh, <laughs> for the first time, first I told you. <laughs> Thank you much. We used up all of our time to get it. She sang, opened in a concert in Lotion Stadium last I, night. Yes, Remember? I did a concert last night. That's why night. I said concert so work was involved. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you very much. a strong woman, John. She wouldn't give us a hint in any way. <laughs> Didn't give you a single hint. That was wonderful. It's grand Thank to stick with that one. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. And so, good night, Dorothy Kilgallen. Good night, John. Good night, Martin. Good night, Dorothy. Arlene. Good morning. Good night, Bennett. I'll see you with Miss Norway. Good night, John. <laughs> good night, Bennett. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, 
for being with us on What's My Line? Transportation for contestants on What's My Line is arranged by United Airlines. What's My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Todd. This is Hal Sims speaking. This is George DeWitt inviting you to join us for Name That Tune tomorrow night on most of these stations.